Hey, welcome back to the Signature Movement. It's your girl, Tanya D. Floyd. I am at the spot. It's very quiet today. The sun was blazing, but it seems like it's um, getting a little overcast right now. Is it supposed to rain? I don't know. Um, but I was sitting here thinking about some interactions I've been having. And it's kind of funny, but it's sad at the same time. Like, so the inboxes have started again. You know, during the pandemic, I got nothing. No, I don't know if some people done broke up already or if they just happy to be outside and getting some fresh air or what, but you know, they've been hitting, hitting my inbox. So usually I drop the thing back in the trash can when it pops up because I don't feel like it. I'll tell you, I'm just good and truthful. I don't feel like it. But every now and then I'll be like, I got an extra load of sunshine going on today. So I'm going to just say, hey, back. So uh, the other day I said, hey, back. And it was just what I had already predicted it would be, which pissed me off because I knew I should have listened to my gut. He just wanted to say, hey, you got a pretty smile. Would you like to do for fun? Well, honestly, I like to advance my business for fun. I like to do renovations for fun. I like to go into the flooring store and you know, look at the clearance rack and see what's over there. And I like to look at all the new stuff on the shelves. And I like to touch the wood samples. And I like the smell of the place. And I like picking tile for a new bathroom renovation or a kitchen. And I like picking paint colors. And I like, ooh, I really like shopping for cabinets and appliances. And then I put it all together and I get the whole picture in my head and I'm like, yes, toys. <laughs> That's what I like to do for fun. I bake cakes every now and then. I enjoy that immensely. It's therapeutic. I listen to my music. I get it going and then I, you know, make the stuff the way I make it. Because, you know, I don't follow recipes when I bake. I, I am... Um, what is the word? I, I, I had a word yesterday. I should have sent it to myself or put a status up or something so I wouldn't forget it. I, 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 I look at recipes sometimes or I think about what it takes to make a certain something and I enhance it, but it was an I word that I was thinking yesterday. I improvise a lot, but that ain't the word either. Whatever it is, I take it and then I just, and it's mine and now it's different because it's mine. It's the way I do it. Anyway, I do all that for fun. I, um, I like crushing goals for fun. And then I make plans to do all of that over again in the very near future. And that's fun. Success for me is fun. Achievement. Results. That's fun. So, I don't know how to have that conversation in an inbox message with a guy who thought I had a pretty smile so he thought he would send me a message. And then, you know, after a couple of chit chat, short words, small sentences, yes or no answers, I gotta go. So I'll be like, yeah, okay, well you have a good day. I got things to do. And then I feel bad because I let him in. And then after I process all that out, I go on my business and achieve something or plan for some kind of achievement. I'm telling you, it's tough out here. I'm going to be single again. I mean, some more. I'm going to be single some more. Continue single. Because, I don't know, I guess guys these days are, they like, you know what they are? They like dogs on a walk. And I can't, I'm not. The dog thing, I, I'm not saying all men are dogs, but I got a dog and I have the behavior, you know, in my head just fresh right now. But you know how you take your dog for a walk and they sniff everything along the way and they pause a few times and then they might pee on that tree or whatever. They might make a couple of circles and take a poop right there. But they, when you, they get distracted all the time and then something comes by, some smell. Or if you even driving down the street with the dog in the car, he be hanging out the window just fine until something catches attention. And then he like, 
that's how they behave these days. It's like, ooh, what was that? Ooh, what was that? It's all about, you know, just distracted right now behaviors, not longevity or value added type behaviors. And so that's why I don't engage with guys who approach me with the whole, so what do you like to do for fun? Or, hey, I saw your pictures. I think your smile is great. Or, hey, beautiful. Good morning, beautiful. What else you got? Can you teach me something? What do you do? I mean, every profile, if you hit me on Facebook Messenger, you can see my profile. You my friend or a friend of a friend. So you can see some of what I got out there. And you know you need to do just a little bit of research. I can, look, anybody that want to be my friend, if I don't already know them, know them like I'm related to them or my cousin's best friend or something, if you ain't family or extended family, I'm going on your page and I'm going to scroll and I'm going to see what you've been talking about. What, what's on your mind? What are you up to? What are you about? Are you going to bring something here or are you just somebody that's... What are you making this attachment for, sir? Who sent you? Why, why are you here? What, what did you bring? how I feel. I don't, I don't want you here if you're not bringing anything or if you're not at least going to be a good refer, referrer. As in, ooh, I saw this great thing on Tanya's page. You should go look at that chocolate cake. Look really good. Or, you know, something. It can't just be, not now. The stakes are high right now. I, just, I can't just be access denied. Let's t title that this whole video right now access denied people in my space who used to be anyway i gotta go access denied if you ain't bringing something i can use or if you're not at least gonna be the gateway by which i you know accelerate my business you gotta bring something or be a conduit to it you know i'm not i, I don't want to come off to people like if it ain't about the money you can miss me with it but at the same time we gotta eat I like my house I like to keep it I, I like my new truck I like to keep it I can't get by without progressing so if you want to be in this space you have to help me progress or at least open your mouth and tell somebody about me hey she does this that and the other won't you give her a call hey she did this for me it was great it's not that hard I've, I've noticed a lot of promotion going on around me <laughs> My people are always shouting out somebody, posting about somebody, tagging somebody. Ain't nobody tagging me. Ain't nobody posting nothing about me. I'm sorry. I got a couple of cousins. No matter what. If I say something profound, share. If I post something really, really good looking and tasty, they share. They know. Cause they done ate at my house many, 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 many times. But it's hard sometimes for people to, I, never mind, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's hard or not. I just know I ain't top of mind, so access denied, sorry. I ain't sorry. We can't just be giving energy and time to bottomless pits. Why well, I want to throw my stuff away? I work hard for my stuff. I, I I got to process a bunch of crap to get a little bit of energy, okay? I got to take like 24 hours sometimes to get myself together before I can be ready to interact with somebody on, again. It's hard being me. It's costly being me, okay? I can't just get that away. Access to that. What you got? Oh. Okay, I'm gonna get back with you. I was talking to somebody today, as a matter of fact, and I was saying, you know, if another person called me for some professional advice 
and then go buy a house from somewhere else or get the kitchen done by somebody else X through your name. Good luck getting me on the phone. No. Mm -mm. Time's up. Can't do it. So yeah, um, Usher has a song, Superstar, I believe it's called. And I was listening to it the other day, as a matter of fact, like, maybe yesterday. I was listening to it, and it was just so sincere, like, yes, Usher, somebody like, when a man loves a woman, I'm gonna tell you, back that good R and B, they used to be saying something about something. I don't know about now. With, with the whole, the misogyny in the music today. So anyway, yeah, Usher, superstar. He was like, you know, talking about how he was his girl's number one fan. He liked looking at her. He liked taking pictures of her. He liked shouting her out. He just liked putting, you know, when she on his arm. He, Yes, I'm trying to get some of that. And it's hard once you've been spoiled before and once you've, you know, been somebody's arm candy and you knew he was proud. That that's that's some good stuff right there. He proud to have me. That's my man. <laughs> you ought to be so proud. Because I'm going to tell you, if you got the right woman in your life, she will propel you to greatness. Okay? You can't have no crap woman. When you got the right woman, I'm telling you, the power in that relationship, oh, mercy. Y'all going places. She going to make you want more. She going to make you think more be more considerate and i'm not saying she's gonna make anything she, listen she will inspire you to do so much more I'm, just, I'm telling you you've seen it pay attention think about it sit down for a minute you know some of these couples you, the way he looks at her she can't do no wrong you can't say nothing about her mm -mm. that's my baby right there don't do it nope when a man loves a woman, I'm telling you. What Percy say? Um, he changed the world for the good thing he's got. There's nothing he won't do. It's like, I'm trying to tell you. You know, some of these old couples been there forever. And he be grinning every now and then. When you look at her, you know, that's my baby right there. My girl, that's that not how it like he got a real real treasure he does <laughs> and he knows he knows life would not be that great without her so yeah uh i need that and i know i'm not gonna get that in an instant message on facebook however i can always tell from the approach and by the level of conversation that follows like i'm not going to get into the one word answer questions the yes and the no's and the you know what you like to eat and all that old crap ask me when you see me but for the meantime you need to catch my attention or you ain't gonna see me but you don't know because you didn't scroll through my profile like i did yours you want to be my friend what you been talking about oh what you what you into Oh, ain't you illiterate? No, no, I'm not. I can't accept that for a question. It is what it is. Okay. I'm not some young thing looking for my first real relationship. I've been a f been in a few. I've been, um, you know, I interview people for my podcast. I've interviewed people for my blog, for my books. Just all the boy cousins i swear i got a couple of girl cousins in my age group but most of them like 10 years younger than me so at, at least yeah. yeah so yeah me and all the boys we've been talking about y'all and we've been talking about us too so you know i got a nice understanding of 
how y'all do, how we do, and no, I'm not new at this, so yeah, bring me something I can use or else, um, I'll let you. But yeah, Superstar, I should nail that thing. He was like, Shh. he just can't get enough of her. I'm, I'm feeling that song, a hundred percent. But uh, yeah. Don't hit my inbox if you don't have nothing for me. Don't tell me you want to be my friend. What do you know about me? You did no research. Absolutely none. You know nothing. You never scrolled anything. You didn't go on any of my pages. I mean, I got two pages. Haven't been on a page. Don't know that I sell cupcakes. You don't know that I, I made a beautiful strawberry shortcake not too long ago. You don't know I make like the best chocolate cake you probably ever gonna have because you didn't read the comments on that picture in my album. Yeah. So, my smile. Yes. I've heard it all before. I like it myself. It is what you say it is. Thank you very, very much. However, I cannot build a friendship or a relationship on that. So, have a great day.